Um, so they had wanted a, another dress rehearsal, and them coming to that realization is, on their own, is uh, an important thing. In general, there was a question from a couple of people on how are you going to grade this? How are you going to mark this? And my response to that was, what is the purpose of assessment? If the purpose of assessment is finding out whether they know something, trying to compare what outcomes we want them to have with what they do have, if that's the purpose of assessment, then I think I can do that fairly well. I've been watching them carefully for uh, a month. They've been working away. I've given two lectures during that time. Most of the, sorry, most of the time, um, they've been working away and I've been circulating. They would ask me a question and I would try and provide a resource. Um, and so they would ask me questions about how long does it take for uh, an HIV um, test to be positive before you're deemed clean. Um, and I didn't know the answer to that question, but I did know somebody who did, and so I would direct them down to a phone, and here we go, make the phone call. So that was my job for a month, um, facilitating and getting resources. Um, I don't know the answer to this question, but I know somebody who does. Um, we don't have this, but I know where I can get one. Um, try this, try that, have you thought about this, have you thought about that? Um, on the last, almost the last day, 48 hours before uh, the presentation, they were writing their bill, and I walked into the room and said, uh, quote, don't we live in a bilingual province, unquote, and walked out the door. And uh, I wanted to walk out the door on purpose so that they would not have a chance to get frustrated at me, but yet deal with the problem, and they did. And within 24 hours, they had a completely translated French bill. Um, which was fantastic. Um, we had two th or three students who wanted to go to a funeral and they played key parts in our presentation and one of them was the leader of the party and they were really upset on trying to decide do I stay with my team, do I stay with my academics, do I stay here with this project or do I go and, and um, show my respects to their, their classmate who passed away. Um, well, the choice is obvious, you go and you pay your respects, but that meant the, te the team was left over. I sat back and watched, and within three minutes, the team had gone and decided that that was a reasonable um, excuse to be away, um, and that they would take care of it, not to worry about it, and then they had already dropped their positions. So one person who was a pig farmer became the leader of the party, the person who was this became that, the person who was going to ask this question moved it over here, they can double this up, they can double that up, we'll cover your spot here, and um, they had all solved within with less than three minutes. So have I, am I confident in that they've learned some science outcomes? All the numbers were true, all the facts were true. Um, and they had to know those at the top of their off the top of their head. So I know they learned the science. Did they learn the 21st century skills about flexibility and communication and collaboration and judgment, uh, making difficult decisions, teamwork? That's obvious, simple. Um, and I can tell you which ones are better team players than others. And I can tell you which ones learned a lot about collaboration. Which ones um, are still struggling a little bit. What I don't necessarily know how to do is assign a number to this. You get an 87, you get a 43, you get a 28. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that at this point. They don't know how I'm going to do this at that point. Uh, and they've asked me the question, how are you going to mark this? And I'm tempted not to. I'm tempted just to leave it off. I've got lots of grades and lots of things that are traditional kind of grades from the rest of the semester that I can assign a grade to, um, and I'm tempted to leave this month off the books. Um, we do have a peer assessment tool that we can use called Spark Plus. Earlier in the year, they had, uh, in anticipation of this project, um, they had gone and decided what things they wanted to be judged by. What soft skills did they want to be a judge by? Um, did they bring their work together on time? Did they listen to others? Did they put their full effort into it and do critical analysis? Some of them found out that they highly underrated themselves because they found out that their team thought they did a much better job than they thought. 
and others had their egos blown a little bit because they thought they were pretty hot stuff and the rest of the team maybe didn't agree. Um, and that realization was a, a nice learning tool, perhaps more important than any science. I think we'll point to that. There's been a huge change in the kids from February until now. Uh, perhaps as large of a change in February till now as the entire year and a half that I had them beforehand. 